All right, today's infrared sauna question is for John. It says, hi, Matt. I'm currently looking to buy a one to two person sauna, <clears throat> preferably the cheaper, the better. Though my question to you is I'm specifically looking for one that can start itself and be heated by the time I wake up for I don't have to wake up 30 minutes or 15 minutes earlier than I have to to prep it or turn it on. I don't even know if they make saunas that do this would think they do. Do you have any recommendations for me? Thank you. P.S. YouTube videos are great. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much for the compliment. Um, yeah, there's a couple things that come to mind. It depends. Um, you didn't mention a little bit more criteria. Uh, to get a one to two person sauna that'll do that for you, it's basically called delayed start is what you want. There's a couple different options. If I don't know how to make a recommendation for you because you didn't mention if EMF is, is um, important to you or not. If it's not, you could do something like a clear light sanctuary. You could do something like um, a sunlight and impulse or even though I don't recommend those normally, but a lot of those will have the ability to add a smartphone controller. So the, the sauna itself connects to Wi-Fi and then you can use an app to kind of program the sauna when to turn it on, when to not turn it on. Now, if the power goes out or anything happens, I don't know if that resets, you'd have to ask them directly. Generally, I don't recommend um, those types of saunas to anyone because the sauna is constantly gonna be hooked up to the internet. So they might also have a Wi-Fi module in some of them. If you get the fancy um, <clears throat> control systems, a lot of those have a like a repeater or something like that. Plus the sauna has to be connected to Wi-Fi all the time in order for it to receive signal from the app. So for me personally, most of the time I work with people who are concerned about RF radiation, um, who are concerned about EMF levels. They wouldn't want something like that. That's why you wouldn't see something like that recommended on the certified sauna list. Um, if you go to certifiedsaunas.com, you can look at the live video EMF testing and you can see kind of like what I'm all about, how the recommendations go and things that I focus on. There is another way for you to get this done though. Um, I don't know, I think... I think the Radiant Health Elite one person uh, and the two person, I know the two person for sure, but I'm fairly certain the one person has the same control panel. It has a delayed start button built into it that works on the number of hours you want to delay the starting of the sauna. So in this case, there would be no connecting to an app. There is no smartphone controller. There's no RF radiation. There's The sauna will never be hooked up to Wi-Fi. It's not even capable of doing that. But right on the front of the sauna itself, it'll have a delayed start button. And when you turn the sauna on, you'll be able to set this to the number of hours that you would like to have it come on. Now, I don't know if this is going to 100% work perfectly for your situation. Like you can't, I think there's an eight hour or 10 hour maximum time limit on that. So you wouldn't be able to pick like 36 hours and have the sauna come on in a day and a half. So there, you know, there's going to be limitations to that. And then it's only going to do it that one time after you finish your sauna session. If you wanted it to repeat that for the next day, you would have to set it on the delayed start again. Uh, so it's not like a programmable feature, but it is very easy and it's very um, like simple. There's not a lot that can go wrong. As long as the power doesn't go out and you have it set on the control panel, it's going to be on at your designated time. Um, so some people love that because they're not introducing RF radiation or there's no Wi-Fi or there's no additional EMF um, from the internet controller or whatever that's usually in the roof of the smartphone saunas. And other people don't like that because if you change your mind or something, I mean, it's, it's not going to hurt anything. If you get stuck at work or you sleep too late, <clears throat> nothing's going to happen. The sauna will heat up. It'll go through its 60 minute cycle and then it'll shut off just like it normally does. So my recommendation would be, um, I know for a fact, the Radiant Health Elite 2, which is I think the Radiant Health E2H, uh, which is what I have in Orlando in Florida. That one definitely has this. And I'm pretty sure the one person does too. I would just call them and ask. That would be my number one recommendation. You don't have to worry about all the other stuff. But if that's not a good fit for you, like I said, you could try some of the others. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. The there are saunas that absolutely do that, though. Definitely can take care of it for you. Uh, check out... I wonder if I've got any other YouTube videos on this. I don't think I do. Okay, John. Well, um, if you have any other questions or if I missed something, let me know in the comments or send me another email. And have a great day. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.